travel from South America back to Florida with me. Two days before Liam Payne's untimely passing, his girlfriend Kate Cassidy shared on TikTok that she had left Argentina after spending time there with the singer. In the TikTok, Cassidy documented her flight back to Florida, admitting she was only supposed to be in South America for five days before her trip got extended. I was so ready to leave. Honestly, loved South America, but I hate staying in one place for too long. And we were supposed to be there for like five days, turned into two weeks. And I was just like, I need to go home. Of course, my seat was 1D. I feel like this happens every single time I fly. I also get such anxiety before flying. So I like broke out in this like weird rash. I obviously ate a bunch of sweets at the lounge. They had like no food options. So I was like, okay, ice cream and cookies it is. I had a glass of champagne. I bought this neck pillow because I normally bring Squishmallows on the plane, but I gave it to Liam, so. Her post came two days before the One Direction member reportedly died after falling from the third floor of his hotel room in Argentina, state police told ABC. He was 31 years old. Access Hollywood has reached out to Liam's team for comment. Payne was born in England and rose to fame on the fifth season of X Factor in 2008. He was eventually placed in the newly formed boy band One Direction with fellow bandmates Niall Horan, Harry Styles, Louis Tomlinson, and Zayn Malik. Although the group didn't win that season of X Factor, they went on to be one of the best-selling boy bands of all time, known for their songs like What Makes You Beautiful and Night Changes. After the group broke up, he embarked on his solo career and debuted his first solo single, Strip That Down, in 2016. Payne is survived by his son, Bear Gray Payne, who was born in 2017 with his ex-girlfriend, Cheryl Cole. Back in 2020, Liam opened up with Access Hollywood about how fatherhood was going for him at the time and shared how he talked to his former bandmate, Louis Tomlinson, about their parenting experiences. Me and, me and Louis speak about it quite a lot. I mean, from, from our perspective, actually, for me and my ex, when, when, um, uh, when we first had Bear and like after a few weeks, I don't know what Cheryl did at the time, but she got him in this beautiful sleeping pattern. He was sleeping and I was like, I don't know what the, the fuss is all about. Like, what are, you, what are you guys talking about? And people used to come to our house and they'd be like, how on earth have you done that? Like, how, how have you made it work? <laughs> because people were like, he's just so, we were very blessed with and lucky, lucky with having Bear because he's so calm. There's no volume involved. Like he throws his toys out the pram every so often, like a little bit, of course kids do, but he's, he's been a blessing so far. So for me, it was like, it, it, it was quite easy at the start in a, in a sense. Um, Louis just phones me up every so often. It's comforting hearing from another dad who's obviously outside the situation and has to visit and go in and out of it. And hearing the dynamic of the things going on with them and, 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 and what happens in that way. And, and his, his son's a tiny little bit older than mine. So um, I kind of get a lot of the different lessons and different things off him in a lot of ways, yeah. But he used to be like my decider of whether the song was going to like sink or swim because when like familiar and different things came out he was like doing the full-on baby rave in the house and whatever i was like it's really <laughs> cute actually and he would like when i went i went over one time about a couple of months ago now and he was it was i was babysitting uh because she, uh, she'd gone out somewhere to somebody's party and he was like well, put music on and i was like okay we'll put some music on so i went over and started turning the music on i put like a song on and it was one i thought was one of his favorites he was like oh no this is not daddy's music and I was like, what do you mean? He was like, it's not daddy's music. And I was like, he's like, play daddy's music. And as soon as I started playing um, Stack It Up, whatever, he's dancing around the house. And I thought, this is just the best thing ever. Like, <laughs> you know, it's so good.